It's a new morning. I just did my morning prayers and um, it's been very moving just connecting with this beautiful landscape that reflects the ecology of the soul. As you can see, um, there's a mist. It's actually become a lot thinner since I've woken up, but it was much thicker this morning. And I just have a sense of um, a real gratitude for the cycle of life and the mystery and to be able to walk the path of the mystic and truly tap into the great mystery to walk this pathway and to know that whatever feelings that we move through of this rich tapestry called life that this is a reflection of Divine Mother and the Divine Goddess and the Divine Feminine, the giver of life, the sustainer of life, the maintainer of life. And for her being life itself, So in the great scheme of things, there's no taker of life because it's just one process. This is what it is. And this is this bitter sweetness, if you like. This is the Tao. This is the middle path where everything is happening at the same time. The birthing and the death. Somewhere in the world, there's a child being born and somewhere in the world, there's someone who's, who's dying or who has just died. And somewhere in between that, there's life. And maybe all of this is life. Everything, every aspect of life is life. Anyway, my heart is full. And I am grateful for Divine Mother. For showing me all that she is. For those who really want to see and to know the fullness of who she is. Allow your heart to open. It is only the mind of the human mind that put things into context. But the truth is there is only flow. There is only life. Unending. Flowing. Undulating changing, singing, feeling, namaste. Beloved God, I see you in the mist, I see you in the birds, I hear you in your song. I see you in the buds, on the leaves, in the trees. In this beautiful morning of the dawn chorus, all is well, all is perfect, whole and complete. I hear your call in wings that flutter as the sun moves through I see you as the light 
and the bumblebees. That remind me of the cycle of life. All is perfect, whole and complete. On this beautiful planet, in this beautiful garden of Eden, the promise of paradise is here for all who can see, for all who can hear. So let it be, so let it be. And so it is.